Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another video. We're looking at VC200, number 200 of the Vintage Collection, Emperor Palpatine. This one came to me from angelgrovecollectibles.com. Fantastic bunch of folks there and uh, got this one out. Super quick, really well packed, awesome. The card looks fantastic, the figure inside looks absolutely awesome. I'm really, really excited for this one. I thought the uh, 5 POA one from a couple of years back, wherever it is. What this one was the uh, piece de resistance for Emperors. But uh, I don't know, I'm just saying this one's looking pretty darn good. I'm looking forward to cracking this one open and putting him on display. What a cracking looking figure. Look at the back. Got Lando to review next. And then hopefully IG-11 will be with me within the next week or two. Looking forward to that one. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's open up the Emperor and take a look. Come on now, stop. It's Palpatine. Alright guys, here is Emperor Palpatine himself. And uh, yeah, I'm really, really happy with how this figure has come out. It looks, looks really, really good. I'm... Just, yeah, super stoked on how this one has actually turned out. Lamenting the lack of a throne, um, but I guess that's that whole San Diego Comic Con thing that's, or whatever it is, the exclusive that's coming out. I don't think it was STCC now that I think about it. But, uh, you know, it comes with the, uh, pretty sure it comes with the throne and the, uh, the big window behind him, but, uh, yeah, not too fussed about that. I've got a, um, I might 3D print a uh, chair for him. But, yeah, either way, it's looking pretty damn good. Nice soft goods. A few reused parts here, so I'm pretty sure the hands are from the uh, Darth Sidious from the Vintage Collection Phantom Menace. And the legs, I believe, are the same. But apart from that, I believe maybe the upper torso has got a new belt. So the belt's new, the upper torso, and the arms are new as well. I mean, you can kind of tell just by the types of joints they are. Um, yeah, they're not as not as strong as as the uh, old ones used to be. They're a little bit a little bit frail. They they come across that way. I don't know that they actually are. They're just you know the joints, elbow joints there. They look a little bit a little bit cheaper than they used to be. They sort of used to be nicely molded in and everything. So. But that's okay. So yeah, the hood is a new piece. At least I think so. Looks pretty similar to... No, that's one piece there. I forgot that's actually one big sort of outer row piece. So yeah, new hood, new head. Look at that. Isn't he disgusting? <laughs> oh boy, he lo it looks good though. The, like even the f sort of the the thread on the fabric sort of matches the hood, which is really cool. That's it's sort of a nice nice quality that doesn't always come across um, in action figures. So that's that's nice. I, I appreciate that. I do like the uh, I do like that sort of belt sort of tassel there. Yeah, it looks all right. So it does come with his walking cane, as you can see here. And much like the uh, 5POA Emperor before, this one does come with switch out hands with electricity. And some, you know, bright red sort of scabby fingers. So let's try and swap them out. Should be a nice nice quick and easy switch out and it is so there we go yeah I'm digging that guys I really am I, I think that looks good I think I might have I might still keep this one on the shelf for the you know the sort of stoic stoic looking emperor you know just doing his thing 
and this one's going to be full pissed off Sith angry palps angry Sheev getting his grump on and zapping Luke so yeah that, that's looking good I actually dig the soft goods the way they've done the soft goods actually looks really nice I know there's uh, a lot of people that are doing some great customs that just sort of you know a lot of work but they sit nicer um, but I don't think Asbro's done a terrible job with these I think that looks quite nice There's separate soft goods for the uh, for over the over the legs. Looks good. They've done well. So yeah, we'll pop that hood off. Look at that crazed face. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I'm I'm really digging this figure, guys. I think it looks great. So no extra sort of detail on the hair there, but that's that's fine. He's going to have the hood on. I doubt many people will be displaying him without the hood, so that looks good. I do hope I can get a hold of that uh, exclusive version because he's got a different head sculpt. But I'm um, yeah, pretty pretty darn happy with this one. It looks good. It's really good. Anyway, folks, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please send out in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think about this new addition to the vintage collection, the 200th single carded version figure anyway. Don't forget about me. <laughs> I, actually, I actually do like this 5 POA palps. I think it looks good. Nice sculpt. That I paid a lot of money for it, so <laughs> I kind of have to like it just for the fact that I uh, spent a lot of money and uh, got a hold of it. So, yeah, send out the comments below if you like this video. Please give it a uh, thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future video drops that I do. So until my next video, thank you very much for watching. May the force be with you always.